With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Our question is: What will be the ratio of moles of each of silver positive, copper two positive, and iron three positive ions deposited by the passage of same quantity of electricity through the solutions of their salts? Over here, we are supposed to give the ratio of moles of each silver, copper, and iron ions deposited by the passage of same quantity of electricity. Right. So over here, we are given silver positive ion, copper two positive. iron and iron three positive ion now if we talk about silver ion in this case what's going to happen is that silver positive would gain one electron and form solid silver right so we can say that over here this one mole electron would be helping ag positive ion to form solid silver right so we can say that we require one mole of electrons right we can say that we require One mole of electrons to form one mole of solid silver, right? So we can say that this one mole of electron is what? This is one Faraday electricity, right? Because one mole of electron have one Faraday charge, or we can say nine six five zero zero coulomb charge, right? So this case we can say that one Faraday of electricity is required for deposition of one mole of solid silver. Then if we talk about copper two positive, in case of copper two positive, it's gonna require Two electron to form solid copper. So we can say two Faraday of electricity would be required for copper two positive ion to form solid copper. Then we are given iron three positive ion. So in this case, we are going to require three electron to form solid iron, right? So we can say that three Faraday of electricity is required for one mole deposition of for solid iron. So but they are saying that we are passing same quantity of electricity. Through all of these, right? So, for example, we have passed one Faraday of electricity. So, in this case, if we pass one Faraday of electricity, we're gonna get one mole of silver, right? But in this case, we require two Faraday. So, if we have passed one Faraday, only half mole of copper would be deposited, right? And in this case, if one Faraday is passed, only one by third would be deposited. So, for silver, we gonna get one mole. For copper, we gonna get half mole. And for iron, we gonna get one by three mole. why because we have passed same quantity of electricity through all of them so what would be the ratio of the moles of each the ratio would come out to be like this 1 is to 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 so this is our ratio of moles of these ions that would be deposited by the passage of same quantity of electricity through them so if we look at our option we are given 1 is to 1 is to 1 that is not correct 1 is to 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 Is correct. One by three is to one by two is to one is not correct. One is to two is to three is also not correct. So our answer to this question would be second. This is the correct ratio of moles for these ions. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.